ancient sky metal. Humanity's fascination with metals that fall from the sky is not new, it's ancient. Over 5,000 years ago in ancient Egypt craftsmen hammered tiny beads from a mysterious iron that they didn't mine from the earth. Modern analysis of these beads from the Gerza Cemetery reveals a nickel content of nearly 30%, far higher than any terrestrial ore. This was the unmistakable signature of meteoritic iron. The story gets even more incredible with the dagger found in the tomb of King Tutankhamun, discovered in 1925, the pristine iron blade was a mystery for decades. Finally, X-ray analysis confirmed its celestial origin. The blade contained 11% nickel and traces of cobalt, a composition that matched iron meteorites. The Egyptians even had a name for this divine material, iron of the sky. It was rarer and more valuable than gold, reserved for pharaohs. This history matters because it establishes a fundamental contrast. Terrestrial iron ores almost never exceed 4% nickel. Meteoritic iron however is rich in it. The same questions our ancestors faced, what is this strange metal and where did it come from, are echoing today as we analyze the impossible alloys of 3i Atlas.